Hi there, we are still exploring string variables with functions and procedures. In the previous video I gave you a second challenge. You had to add the button that deletes a substring from a base string. Today I will demonstrate the solution to the challenge. We will explore the delete procedure. Before we go to the project, if you first want to take me up on this challenge, you must do all the lessons from unit 10.5 to 10.9. Then you can come back to this tutorial and compare your solution with mine. We programmed these seven buttons to process a string using functions and procedures. We used functions and procedures like length, pass, uppercase, lowercase, input box, copy, insert, string replace and some others. If you want to jump into the middle of the project and start from here, you can download the starter project and the solution from patreon.com slash learn Delphi. Oh, and if you are new here, I am using a free copy of Delphi 10.3 Community Edition to record these lessons. You still may be in time to get your free copy. I posted the link in the description below this video. Now, let me demonstrate how to program the delete button. Here, I have my project open in design time. We do not have a button to delete the string yet, so let's add a new button. Let's first make some space. Drag the left of the form to make the form wider. Then go and add the button here in the open space. Go to the caption property, change it to delete. Scroll down to the name property, change the button's name to btn delete. And let's tidy up the user interface. Make the edit wider. And do the same with these two panels. And drag the form in a bit. Okay, double click on the button. We are taken to the onclick event handler of PTN Delete. In the new event handler, go above begin. Declare these variables. You already know the purpose of str phrase and BTE letter count. We also use them in other event handlers. str string to delete will save the word or the phrase the user wants to delete. To delete a series of characters or a substring from a base string, we need to determine the starting position of the substring in the base string. And we must also determine the length of the word that must be deleted. PTE position to delete is a byte variable to keep the starting position of the substring in the base string. And BTE delete length will save the length of the substring. Put your cursor between begin and end and type this code. We assign the text of the edit to the string called str phrase again. Here we use the input box function to get the word the user wants to delete. Then we assign it to str string to delete. This will be the substring. Then we determine the position of the substring in the base string. The position is saved in a byte variable named BTE position to delete. Then we determine the length of the substring with the length function and assign the result to BTE delete length. You learned how to use all these functions in previous lessons, so there's no need for me to explain them again. On the next line, type this statement. This is the code that will do the actual deletion. To delete a substring from a base string, we use the delete procedure. Delete is a procedure, just like the insert procedure we explored earlier. Procedures do their work in the background, but they do not assign a result to a calling statement. The delete procedure takes three input parameters. In this example, I pass values saved in variables as arguments. The first parameter is a string. Let's assume the value in str phrase is kick me out. The next parameter is a number. We must pass the position where the substring appears in the base string. We got this a few seconds ago with the pass function. Let's assume the value is 6. The last parameter is also a number. We must pass the length of the substring. And we also got this a few seconds ago in our code with the length function. Let's assume the length is 2 characters. Now, the delete procedure will go and do its work. It will count six characters from the start of the base phrase and it will get the M in me. From there it will count two characters including the M and it gets M and E. The delete procedure will then kick me out of the base string. Make sure you understand that the original value in str phrase is now changed and we can use str phrase further on with the knowledge that it is not the original string anymore.
That's why a procedure doesn't have to give its results back to a calling statement to override the original string value. Let's look at our code again. Notice how my code builds up to a conclusion. For the delete procedure, we need a base string, so we first processed it here. The delete procedure also requires the position of the substring, and it was processed here. The last parameter of the delete procedure was first prepared here with the length function. Now let's finish this with code that you are already familiar with. After deleting the substring, we must display the new value in the base string in the edit by assigning str phrase back to the text property of edt phrase. Here we use the length function to count characters in the base string after the substring was deleted. And here we display a message in a panel that shows the length we just saved in BTE letter count. And we also display a message in PNL message that shows the word that was deleted as well as the position from where it was deleted. Now let's test the program. Run your project. Click display pangram. Notice the length of the phrase and the message at the bottom of the form. The length is 45. Click btn delete. The default text in the input box is the word brown. Let me explain two things here. Firstly, if the user type a word that is not in the base string, this will not work as expected. Secondly, this is case sensitive. The word in the input box must match the word to be deleted exactly. The word brown is in the phrase, so I leave it like that and I click OK. The word was removed from the phrase and the message also changed. The length was 45, now it is 40. And this panel shows us which word was deleted and from which position. Close the form and save your project. Now I have another challenge for you. This one is just for the fun. It has nothing to do with string variables, but it will fit in perfectly with the work that we've done so far. You must add a menu with three top level menu items. One for file and one for edit and one for format. Use MNU as a prefix for your menu names. Under the file menu, add a submenu for display pangram. Under Edit, add items for Copy, Insert, Replace and Delete. Also notice the line that separates the first two submenus. Under the Format menu, add items for Uppercase, Lowercase and Trim. All these submenu items will represent one of the buttons on your form. Now here's the challenging part. All the submenus must do exactly what the corresponding buttons do. But here's the catch. You are not allowed to write a single extra line of code to make this menus work. Go have some fun. I will show you the solution in the next video. And if you enjoy my lessons, please like and subscribe and share my lessons with everyone on social media. See you later.